the airship tied down. Then we heard a voice in the distance. direction of the voice. When we got closer, we found that it was Leota the Wood Sprite calling for help. Leota, what's wrong? Oh, Teddy, I'm so glad you're here. The school is blowing down. The school? What school? Come with me, I'll show you. All right, Leota. Come on, fellas. We followed Leota. She led us to a large tree that was being blown over by the wind. But it wasn't an ordinary tree. It had been turned into a school. And, uh, uh, do you mean this tree? Yes, the school tree. It's going to be destroyed. Here, let me have that tree. Willie leaned up against the tree and started to push with all his might. It's a little secret, 
Somebody forgot to tell you. Really? That's right. There's just no way of knowing which way it is we're going. If we don't have a good idea of where we have come from. So someone said that's logical. That makes good sense to me. And there should be a name for that. Let's call it history. But history can be a sort of stodgy sounding word. It kind of sounds a little like some other words we've heard. Like algebra. Geometry. Or trigonometry. They scare you when you hear them and make you want to play. But you should not let great big words frighten you away. A toggly dink and triply pink and biggly doggly duck. What is all the wet mean? Oh, I just made it up. Oh, you see that anybody can think of words to say. So you should not let great big words frighten you away. Now history is just a word that's covered up with fuzz. It might be better just to say, let's look at where we was. Do you remember yesterday? Yeah. How about the day before? Of course. Do you remember three days back? Do you remember four? Uh, I'm not too sure. Then now you see the reason why history came round. It gets too hard remembering, so someone writes it down. So what's happening all Soon be known as history, or maybe it will just be called looking back at yesterday. Hey, for hey, now I see what you're talking about. That is a good secret to know, Teddy. Those big words shouldn't be scaring me. I'm tougher than that. All right. I have a boy, Willie. And you know what I'm gonna do? What? what? I'm gonna go right back to that school tree, and I'm gonna learn what every one of those big words means, and they're never gonna scare me again. Okay, okay Woody. <laughs> and a boy. History. Well, the next time we went by the school tree, the woolly what's-it was there. Today in class, we're going to study history. I mean, looking back at yesterday. Then we're going to study different shapes. Oh, uh, uh, that's all right, Miss Leota. You can say history and geometry. Hey, Teddy, Miss Leota is going to help me discover my family tree. You mean your family used to live in a tree? No! A family tree will tell me who my ancestors were. It's kind of like my own personal history. Oh, Wooly is doing very well. He told me the secret that you shared with him, Teddy. If you don't mind, I'm going to tell all of my students that secret from now on. Oh, good, Leota. I'm glad. Thanks a lot, Teddy. Uh, hey, Grubby, do you know what a dodecahedron is? No, I sure don't. It's just a 12-sided figure. <laughs> hey, Gimmick, 